Oh, I missed it completely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try one more. Ladies and gentlemen, you've asked for it, you've wanted it, and we've held it from you. A lot of people thought I sold this thing. The problem that we're having with the military ambulance is that the transmission is toast. We can't get it out of first gear. I've tried backing it up like 50 yards. Sometimes the transfer case locks up. A lot of stuff that I don't fully understand, but I think, unfortunately, it's the transmission. The good news is we still got first gear. 30 miles an hour, we're eating it up. If you ain't first, you last. Which is just fast enough to ride on back roads, avoid highways, and go to a spillway that me and Norm have never been to before. We, we do this. have, oh, dude, you're in the middle of sentence. No, 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 I was you gonna finish. Say, you have a way with your spills. I wish I didn't interrupt that, because I, I wanted that in. It doesn't even mean anything, but. but I, it was you, and you created that, and yeah, I took that from you. I appreciate you letting me be creative. That's why we're here. We've loaded this thing in the brim with kayaks, sleeping bags, everything you need to catch a cooked fish. We're gonna go on a small road trip on the ambulance, see how she can do just in first gear. Camp in her overnight and fish a place we've never been to before. Also, there's some goodies in here. I found in like a secret compartment, haven't even shown you guys yet, some old military medical stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Just in case we get a boo-boo. If, if we have to use the stuff that I found in here, <laughs> stuff's real bad <laughs> yesterday when we were prepping for this video norm had never ridden inside of the humvee so i thought let me go ahead and show him what a deep ford kit can do and i didn't tell him anything i did tell him something it was just a complete lie <laughs> he told me the opposite of what we were doing yeah <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, boy. Dude, let me check my hairline real quick. It's still receding. It's still running back, dude. <laughs> First try. Give me that. We're gonna do a full lap around my granddad's property. Okay. Full throttle. All the way? All the way. All right. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dude, I have a door on my side. It's grown up since I've been here last time. Oh god. <laughs> so I don't like that you're headed towards water. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I don't trust you. Oh, I didn't trust you all. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh, my butt's wet. Oh, you dirty dog. My phone's in my pocket. You knew you were doing that the whole time, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh my god. Why am I dizzy? Oh. <laughs> My bad, dude. Oh, dude. I didn't even see the oh, It's like right at me on port level, too. I didn't even realize that we were going to be uh, right in the creek again. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I should have known. Dude, we're just going to drive around the property and get some drone shots. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, good news is somehow your seat's completely dry. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Golly. <laughs> that's on me for real. I didn't even see the creek right there. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it kind of came out of nowhere. Too. I would have, like, yeah. most people driving a Humvee in this field would have ended up in the creek, I feel like. It was pretty much inevitable how good it was hitting. There wasn't, like, a sign or nothing either. Like, yeah. I think somebody put a sign up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's funny because it was a sneeze, but it looked like it was coming out of your butt from my angle. Oh, butt sneeze. <laughs> Anyways, that's why my butt's still wet today. It's a day later. <laughs> it's still too. wet. Yeah, the seat, everything's yeah. soaked. <laughs> Whenever I come here, it's just always get a wet butt every time. All right. Buckle in, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy today's ride. It's going to be a good one. Wow. Okay, let's get down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. What are you doing? Being careful. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were about to jump. <laughs> yep, yep, that's it. Should have known. Should have known. 
Oh, what a guy. <sighs> Can't wait to spend the next 24 hours with him. God bless. <laughs> There's no way you're making it up. Okay. Dude, I'm slim. All right. <laughs> I still got it. Worst part about this whole thing is there's no AC and it's very warm. It's the most first world problem ever, but. <laughs> worst part about today's video is no air conditioning. <laughs> I don't have artificial air blowing on me. This is terrible. Drop some comments for support. It is the government, so I don't know what I expected, but. Yeah. What, something fair and honest? <laughs> <laughs> so, completely useless story that will take way too long for me to explain and not make the video. Wait, uh, let me turn the air on. Oh! <laughs> Dude, it's squirting water out. Is it? Yeah. Do you not see it just flying all over? What? I, I feel like this is terrible for your ears. Bro, you were like perfectly riding the edge on this side to like where if you were only an inch over, we would be in the grass. Like it's so doggone close. What if you said doggone? Right then. Doggone. Doggone. I also think it's important to teach life lessons. Patience is the way of the Jedi, so if anything, we're like two Jedi masters training young Padawans behind us to learn patience.
lot of you may not know this, but I'm a big Jason Kelsey fan. Which is why today's video sponsor is Underdog. Underdog is pretty much the easiest way to play fantasy sports. If you're a man of multi-cultures, you enjoy some other things just besides US football. They have baseball, basketball, UFC, hockey, and more. It's simple. Just pick whether your favorite player is gonna have higher or lower stats and you can earn real money not just bragging rights. You can make your own entry with as few as two picks and three times your money or go bigger and get 20 times. For new customers at Underdog, you can get a pretty special deal right now. If you think Bryce Young can get one yard, one over one yard, you win. That's three feet. My picks this week, Justin Herbert, he's tucking it for more than eight and a half. Zach Wilson, don't even show up, buddy. I know you're not gonna throw it 31.5 times. Steph Curry, 21 at least. If all those hit, I have 6X my money too, so. I've got a special promo. Underdog is giving new users for a limited time a $100 deposit match. That's right, $100 hair. It's available in 30 plus states, including California, Texas, and even Canada, which is not a state in the United States, but a neighboring country. All you have to do is click the link in the description or download Underdog Fantasy via the App Store and use promo code AO, that is Underdog Fantasy promo code AO to get up to a $100 deposit match. Makes watching NFL more fun for me. It's a bunch of other sports too. So if you wanna use Underdog to make your picks, go ahead and do so. Thanks Underdog, back to the video. All right, we have made it to fishing spot number one. Wait, stop. Oh! <laughs> you said stop. I didn't know how urgent it was. Do you want me to pull in front or like kind of give her a little back up? Yeah, give her a little, give her a little three point turn. <laughs> yeah, put that butt in first. Okay. How am I looking? You look so good. How was the shark look? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're chilling. All righty, we've made it to the spillway. She did good. She stayed together, transmission intact. Let Norm drive a little bit because I got a little dizzy. But we got the kayaks, the river. We're gonna use every second we have of sunlight to try to go catch dinner later tonight. Take this puppy off road and do a little exploring. Find a place to tuck away and camp. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you going green kayak or red kayak? Which one's your favorite? I'll take red. Quick decisions, I like it. Mm. Oh no. Oh, God. Golly, this girl's stuck in there. You know when we shoved this thing in and it was really hard to get in? Yep. I think it's gonna be harder to get out. I've been there before. Oh, I have it. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Does it look good? No. Good. I gotta pee real quick. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> oh, goodness. I stir up a little bit of my subway. Gosh, dude. <laughs> That's the number 30 if I've ever tasted it. <laughs> Let's catch some dinner. Dinner. God, that looks snaky. Gosh, I got a good feeling we're gonna jack something today. I think we're gonna come across something with fins on it and be all excited. I do as well. And I'm hoping that it is a large one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All righty. You've caught a fence, my friend. First catch of the day, let's go. Dude, how have I, this, this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a mood killer for sure. Are you kidding me? Gosh dang pollution. I, feel, I swear sometimes all you wanna do is go fishing and then the universe just does everything to say, mm -mm. nope. Some days everything goes right and some days you just hook your rudder on a plastic fence, but we're good now. We got two kinds of water we can fish. On the right hand side of the river, you can push up, they're generating. 
on the left hand side of the river they're letting a little water out but it's mostly just calm and the cool thing is this is a place i've never been to before water temperature feels really comfortable compared to the water i've been in most of the year i'm already seeing fish up top which just gets my body all tingly <sighs> oh this is gonna be so much fun guys there's something about fishing a new spot that you just get all excited about because you don't know what to expect especially when you're just looking at a massive spillway. I also apologize for this angle, but it's just gonna be how it is. I know you didn't click on this video hoping for some Norm hamstrings, but you know, sometimes in life, you get what you don't ask for. <laughs> oh. These rocks look insane, dude. I, dude, I, I almost want to drag a jig on them, dude. Oh. <laughs> you. All right. Ugh. Gosh, there's bait everywhere in here. I see bass jumping out of the water, guys, like super tiny spots right in front of me. I'm just waiting. I know one of these pops is just going to be shoot a McMuffin, dude. I love when Braid does that, just decides, hey, let's not. Why? Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Holy smokes, big one is busting right over these rocks. It's gonna be awkward if I hook this. Oh! Guys, I don't know if you saw that, but right behind these rocks, just a, probably like a five pounder was just going ham. Oh, right here, right here. Oh, 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 I got him, let's go, let's go. You guys saw that? He was chasing bait. Come on, baby! Threw it up, and we have ourselves, I think this is a super tiny spot. Oh, she's pulling hard in that current. That is ridiculous. Gosh, if I didn't see that thing jump, I'd be thinking this thing is massive right now, but that current, gosh, she's taking me for a ride. It definitely is a spot, and I don't get to catch these too often. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Holy smokes, first one. He was just actively feeding, super aggressive, threw it in there, and he just grabbed it. All right, girl. We are far from a hospital and we have a vehicle that goes 20 miles an hour, so don't do it to me. Normally if you get them by the gills. Oh, that is so crazy. Inside his mouth, he has a little shad right here. And the lure I'm throwing, you know, maybe a little bit too big. Just a little bit bigger, but not by much. And I mean, that is why that just worked. And look, they're blowing up right in front of me. Wow, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if we're chasing a spot or if we're chasing some stripers to eat, but I know we do need dinner tonight. I don't know if I should throw it back. I think I'm going to and hope that we don't need her. This could be a really risky decision for tonight, but you got lucky this time, girl. <laughs> All right. Pay taxes for what? We're in the game. Thank goodness. All right, me and Norm are splitting up. We got a plan. Norm's gonna hit moving water with rattle trap and then i'm gonna go to the point of this island hit that might even swap over to a little swim bait or a rattle trap of some type but i think that's gonna be the move to get us some dinner <laughs> oh yeah oh Oh, come on. Yes. What is that? That could be a striper. Ah, I didn't see it. I was staring at my feet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come, oh wow, yeah, that's not a spot. Yes, it is. Holy smokes. He is just fighting really mean for a spotted bass. Stay hooked, buddy. Good Lord. That is a foosball. My heavens. 
<laughs> Found my long lost twin under there. Broad shoulders, carries all his weight in his lower stomach. <laughs> Might be dinner for the night. Oh my gosh, this dude fought like a striper 100%. Yes. Call me crazy, this might be the spot. <laughs> Park her right up in some random rocks. Why not right here? It's where the river took me. Wow. Uh, you can't write this stuff. It was like the best time ever I just got done tossing my kayak up on the rocks. Just a school of them right there. Oh, that was awesome. Fiddle, fiddle. Swap it to the rattle trap, thinking that could be the sauce. All right, we have at least one keeper. I don't know what Norm's caught yet. We've been separated maybe hour, two. Fish are going crazy. I just keep backlashing this reel. Oh, yeah. gosh. I'm dude. missing the name, but you know shove what I'm saying. Shove it up. Shove it, shove it, shove it. Shove it, shove it, shove it. All right, we're good. So the cool thing about the ambulance is it still has all its interior lights, meaning that we can... Oh, that's Ooh. not the right one, but that is it's kind of, kind of set the mood there. <laughs> Let me see if I can't. Actually, the one that I anticipated showing you. I'm embarrassed. Nope, that's a, <laughs> that's a fan. That's a heat. Where the heck did the light switch go? Have you ever turned these on before? All the time, dude. Gee dang it. You know what? I might have to. We are so close. It is unreal how close we are. Hey! Yeah! Isn't this pretty crazy? We're pretty well lit men right now. Oh yeah. These are the interior lights to the ambulance. So they had to work on anybody in here they could. And for the purposes that we need this vehicle for, it's freaking awesome. It genuinely feels like the same lighting you would have in a normal overlander or a camper or something like that. And you can turn them green in case you have like a Shrek theme. Welcome to the swamp. Shrek theme. So I ended up catching a pretty nice spotted bass. Norm threw his bat. <laughs> Took the Wii straight out of that and just made it all about you. I mean, you caught him. I had one. You I threw let it go. It back. Yeah. We literally nice... said, we're going to catch dinner. You throw back your fish. Yeah. Well, I caught it like so quick that I figured maybe I'll let you shine a little bit in your own video. You know? Mine was You're very welcome. Away. More okay. fish for Whatever. the video. Whatever. Either way, not too long ago, I figured out a spicy fish sandwich Ooh. and it is so good and i've been waiting to share it with my buds and it's not a lot i mean red hot seasoning it's, it's a little expensive but it's like four dollars for this whole thing for seasoning i feel like that's steep dude no, don't. I'll, I'll show this one off if you want me to yeah, yeah, yeah tell them about it you can get this at your local walmart we got the great value brand so easy on the pockets but also yummy on the tummy you can make this entire meal with the stove and the camp and stuff, like 20 bucks. That's my favorite thing about this meal. Yep, and then the next time you do it, for like a couple bucks. And then spitting facts on them, dude. That's what happens when it gets late. Dave Ramsey comes back up in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put it in the house off. Buy it in cash. Why do you have student Don't loans still? Pay the house off. Your car's too expensive. What are you doing? Leasing? You leave them. Flush your money down the toilet if Lock you're leasing. Solid asset. Solid <laughs> asset. Ugh. Ugh. Yep. Let's cook some fish. Dude, that is like straight up out of a hibachi restaurant. I have a feeling if I set the fish in there right now, it's just gonna go straight charcoal immediately. All you really need for a campfire fish. <coughs> oh, sorry, the lead paint from the Humvee is just spicing up my fish a little hard. A little bit of butter, a little bit of seasoning, cast iron, you're good. The goal is to put so much seasoning on this that we forget it's a freshwater game fish.
Don't trust me. I'm being honest. <laughs> that, it kind of from here looks like some grits or something. That's how I like my, my uh, fish Sammy is to be. In typical fashion, we have no pans, no silverware, only a filet knife and some buns. I like how you had, <laughs> said you had a secret recipe and the secret recipe was <laughs> buns, cheese, <laughs> One seasoning in the fish. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we do specialize in is making freshly caught fish as unhealthy as possible. It looks like a fish sloppy joe. <laughs> That's basically what it is. What? <laughs> no. It just, it looked like a McDouble. <laughs> it's just funny that everything you eat looks like a McDouble. <laughs> I was, there's like the one day we didn't go to McDonald's, you're still eating McDonald's. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, it's late. So let's just, let's get on with the show. Yeah, dude, we can talk about my <laughs> weight. Let's do it. Got some melted cheese. Went ahead and just shredded that fish up. Covered it in as much seasoning as possible. I just like to pack as much flavor in there as I can. <laughs> It's the exact formula for a McDonald's cheeseburger, but instead of the burger, you just put bass in it. It's not like I have a secret recipe. It's just a McDonald's number two. Uh, who? Who we? Would you like to try yours first? Sure. I got right. it. I got it. Sweet, sweet. I don't know what got over me there. Right. No, dude, you're good. That's probably the best thing we've ever made. I'm telling you, <laughs> that's my recipe. I'll give it to you. I will. Belize is pretty awesome. I just don't feel like we had the right ingredients out there. No, we didn't. We had like cooler fish to cook than yeah. a bass. Yeah. But this, I mean, it really is just simple stuff and it made it. So good. Yeah, I actually really like this. Bun, cheddar, spicy, whatever kind of fish you can. Cause let's be honest, it's hard to tell a difference. We're gonna finish our sandwiches, and then as promised, I have some old goodies I found in here that I haven't showed you guys yet. <laughs> all righty, as promised earlier in today's video, we're about to unbox all the medical supplies that they left in the ambulance originally. Didn't really understand what it was, but when I figured out one thing, I didn't touch anything else, so it'd be kind of a surprise. A lot of this, keep in mind, has been dumped inside of a creek and then sat there for hours while we try to figure out how to get it out. But this is the first thing we found. Is this medical supplies or is this just like a spare part or something? No, it's kind of crazy. Dude, give that a smell, dude. It kind of smells nice. Kind of smells like Christmas. Yeah. Kind of freaks me out as to what happened in here when it was in use. Yeah, I kind of just thought about that. Like, that's it's not like a replica. This is the real deal. This is the ambulance. Yeah, this was somewhere besides a pond in the middle of Georgia. Yeah. Oh, dude. So, like, we have another one. Okay. And then we have another one. There's a lot of these in here. Yeah. So it attaches headpiece, collective protector. Yes. I don't even understand. I don't know if I want to understand how this was utilized. Dude, my mom always said, don't put your head in plastic bags. <laughs> so we had the first aid kit, the individual US kit has a cool little bag. It looks like it would just slide on somebody's belt buckle or backpack. Okay, a box in a box. Okay, we got a little camouflage, what is that, gauze? I think, yeah, I think that's gauze. Camouflage triangle bandage. Even your wounds are camouflaged. I like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. They call it the Camovat Cravat. Camouflage triangular bandage. Oh, snap! Lip protector and moisturizer with SPF 22 sunblock. My mom would be stoked if I started wearing that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Betadine solution water purification tablets the top has rusted off and there's just like the cotton on top to keep them dry iodine 50 for treating water and canteen yes. i think these are head pieces oh dude it comes in like a little silver packaging dang these these were assembled in 
2019? That can't be right. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. Make sure it's the same thing as from earlier. Yes. Finding that stuff in here just made it so much more real that it was actually a military Humvee yeah. and not just some truck having fun. To me, it felt like a camper. Yeah. Like like a cool camper, and then now it's seeing this stuff is just... You realize what it actually did. Yeah, and it honestly kind of just makes me feel, I don't know, it kind of makes me feel sad, dude, that this stuff even has to exist. Big thanks to all the veterans at home and the people that understand how to use these things to help keep us free. Dude, what is it? When is the last time you used these sleeping bags? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> you want to know the truth or not the truth? Um, tell me the truth. I forgot these in the yard and they got rained on for two months. <sighs> yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm glad I leave my phone oh. in my pocket. <laughs> I just realized that we're definitely the two fattest people to lay on this because there's no way people in the army are this fat. <laughs> probably not allowed yeah. to be in the army at this size. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of metal beneath you. I think if we really wanted to convert this thing to an overlander, there's potential. You could, yeah, you could for sure sleep in this. It's just these metal bars, <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. I also have no clue how this sleeping bag works because it looks to me just more like a blanket in the shape of a trapezoid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the ceiling level is like. <laughs> It's right there, like yeah, it is. if you like, have a you nightmare. Like that, you're... <laughs> Good. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I turn the lights off. Oh, I turn my blue light on, but I'm cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of feel like I'm in a fish tank or something. <laughs> uh, I can already tell this is rough on the old backiola. Dude, I got a line with this knot I've had behind my right shoulder blade, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure when I wake up, it's going to be released. Dang. You knotted up? Yeah. Naughty boy. <laughs> no, I'm not. Dude, oh my God. Dude, don't say things on the internet that aren't true. <laughs> no, it's naughty. No, it's naughty. It's incredible how naughty Norm is. If I feed into it, you're going to keep saying it, so I'm pretending like I don't even hear you. Oh, Norm, you're so naughty. Yeah, gee, I don't, I actually don't want that on YouTube now. Now, now it's not even play. That just that shit shouldn't be anywhere. Oh no! Stop! <laughs> oh, dude. You're such yeah, a no, 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 no. Yeah, let's. Why? Why are we going down this path? Why do I have to be the mature one? You're such a naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> so naughty. No. No, I'm not. I'm actually a pretty good dude if you get to know me. One time I stole a screw off of the floor at Home Depot when I was a kid. And, and I didn't know that they it. sold screws. <laughs> dude, screw you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to start coughing again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you naughty boy. I mean, how are you going to go from I'm naughty to I stole a screw? Uh, yeah, you're right, dude. I am naughty. Fine. <laughs> oh, I dropped my head. And saddled. <laughs> Did I leave the blinker on? Gosh dang it. I might just leave it all night and see what happens. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's not an intro, but we're here still, and you are too. So thanks for sticking through the whole video. Caught some fish, cooked some fish, slept in the old Humvee. If you have any recommendations or modifications we should make to the Humvee, let me know. I'd love to just pour reckless amounts of money into this thing that I'll never be able to recover. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.